Let's talk about tethered caps. Caps that stay connected to the bottle during the intended use will be mandatory throughout the European Union from 2024. So there is a lot to discuss with Jochen Forsthöfel and Johannes Planke. Could you please give us some insights on the motivation behind this European Union Directive? Well, among the most commonly found uh, items on the beaches are plastic caps. And um, this is of course not good for the environment. And um, in the new European Single-Use Plastics Directive, uh, there's an article that states that from 2024 on all caps have to stay attached uh, to the beverage container during the intended use. Um, in general, this uh, is already um, fixed, but uh, of course, detailed discussions are still ongoing. Um, for example, in the CETI, what is a beverage industry organization, where of course also Crohn's participates. And uh, these discussions are also not only a European Union thing, but uh, I know that similar discussions are going on also in the rest of the world, of course. And although a cap is only a really small part of the whole beverage container, a change might also affect in further changes in the whole process, right? Yes, a Crohn's filling and packaging line has several touch points with the cap. First of all, we need to sort the cap, we need to inspect the cap, we need to apply the cap, which means we put the cap on the bottle, obviously, and then we inspect the cap and uh, check whether or not the application was successful. Um, on aseptic lines, we also disinfect the cap prior to the application. What is very important in regards of uh, the tethered caps is the fact that they can be applied on different uh, neck finishes. Oh yes, of course, because there's screw on or push on solutions and I bet there is more than that. Yeah, you can basically divide them up into two branches. Number one would be a screw on cap and number two would be a push on cap. Um, amongst the geometry of those caps, you can also divide them up into um, rotational symmetric caps like regular flat caps we know right now and uh, non rotational symmetric caps. Those caps have basically uh, some parts sticking out of their outer contour, for example, a hinge or um, a thump up help for, for the final customer to open the cap. Um, in this case, Crohn's not only acts as a machine supplier, which uh, yeah, creates uh, cappers and all the machinery that is required to apply those tethered caps in the LCS business and also on new machines. We also um, work as consultants here. So uh, we are in contact with uh, the cap suppliers um, to talk about their latest models, uh, the application torque, the head pressure, the geometry, and so on. And we also are in contact, of course, with our customer to help them find out what, what would be the best solution for their already existing machines in regards of LCS, but also for the new machine to follow the EU directive in 2024. You mentioned the neck finish, so a change in the cap might also result in a changed neck finish. Yes, of course. And uh, maybe it makes sense to also switch to a lighter neck finish when you're doing a change on your line anyway, because then you end up with a lower packaging weight, what is more sustainable and of course more economic. So there's lots of potential for optimization or you could say a change is always a chance even for you if you're outside of the European Union. Thank you very much for these interesting insights.